Hi, in today's session, we will talk about the application of mirror and lenses. So the main goal of today's session, we will identify ways in which the properties of mirror and lenses and determine their use in optical instruments. So shall we start? So we have first mirror. We all know that mirror produces image by a reflection of light. And one application of plain mirror is for personal grooming. The early morning brushing of teeth and getting ready for an outing is never complete without a plain mirror. Next will be kaleidoscope. So we all know that kaleidoscope can able to create different uh, regular designs with the use of plain mirror. It has a combination of plain mirrors that are set in a certain fixed angles in order to create a multiple uh, images. And the designers use it to create geometric patterns. And the most uh, recent surprising use of kaleidoscope, it is used in medical treatment. It is used to calm, uh, to calm down a nervous patient. Next, let's proceed to spherical mirror. So spherical mirror has a curved surfaces. So there are two types of spherical mirror. We all know that convex and concave. For convex mirror, the curve is outward. So here is one application of convex mirror. So we have here the rear view mirror and the side mirror of automobiles. So this mirror is a convex mirror. So it forms an image that is smaller, upright, virtual. So regardless of the position of the object from the mirror, so it is always um, reduced in size, upright, and virtual. So convex mirror allows the driver to see what is coming behind them. Next, convex mirror is also used for security system. We can see this in convenient stores like 7-Eleven, Mini Stop, and supermarkets. Supermarkets of pure gold or SM, you can see that it is hung in the ceiling. So they, it is a convex mirror. So it is used to monitor the security of the different parts of the store. Since convex mirror always produce a reduce in size, uh, virtual and upright image. And it has a wider scope area that will be reflected by the a convex mirror. Next, let's proceed to another type of spherical mirror, which is a concave mirror. We all know that a concave mirror has an inward curve. So one uses of concave mirror is it is used by the dentist. And we all know that dentists use mirror while performing any examination to see the image of our teeth. So when they uh, place the mirror inside our mouth and place it closer to the tooth, so it will magnify the image upright and it produces a virtual image. Next is the head mirror. So head mirror that is used by ENT doctors, it is a concave mirror. They put the concave mirror under a patient's forehead. So when the light ray from the light source is reflected from the concave mirror, it, it is focused into the ear, nose, or throat of the patient making the infected uh, parts more visible. Next is ophthalmoscope. So it is used by the ophthalmologist. So it this ophthalmoscope has a concave mirror with a hole at the center. So the doctor focuses through the small hole from behind the concave mirror. So if there's a light beam, it is directed into the pupil of our eyes or the patient's eye to make the retina visible and make it easy for the doctors to check. Next, let's proceed to lenses. So we all know that lenses produces image by a refraction of light. And we have two types of lenses, which is converging lens or convex lens and diverging lens or concave lens. So what uh, today we will talk about the uses or application of lenses. So what the first instrument that we have here is the camera. Camera is used to produce a permanent image. It has a biconvex lens producing a real uh, inverted and smaller image. Next, we have here a telescope. This type of telescope is a refracting telescope. We all know that telescope is used to see distant objects. So this refracting telescope uses converging lenses. 
it has an objective and eyepiece lens. So the first image is inverted, real and smaller. It is formed by the uh, objective lens. And the final image is produced by the eyepiece lens, so which is enlarged, inverted, and virtual. Next is the magnifying glass. We always see this one that is used by the detective. So magnifying uh, glass is a converging lens or convex lens. So when the object is, play, is near the focus or it's between the focal point and the lens, so the image will create is an upright, virtual, and enlarged or magnified image. Now, let's talk about the application of mirror and lenses. So, one optical instrument that uses both mirror and lenses is a compound microscope. So, compound microscope is used to examine microscopic organisms. So, it has mirror. The mirror that is used here is a concave mirror. So, this concave mirror is used to capture light. And then, the two converging lenses such as the objective lens and the eyepiece lens, it is used to achieve a greater magnification. So the first image is formed in the objective lens, which is a real inverted and enlarged image. And the final image is in the eyepiece lens, which is a virtual enlarged and upright. So to wrap it up, so we have here the list of application or uses of mirror and lenses. So again, for mirror, we talk about kaleidoscope, automobile rear view and side mirrors, mouth mirror, and ENT doctor's head mirror. For lenses, we have refracting telescope, camera, and magnifying glass. For both, both that uses mirror and lenses, the optical instruments are compound microscope and reflecting telescope. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching this video.